Hey, millionaire. You can spend your whole life dreaming of winning the lottery, but that doesn't mean you'll really know how to react if that dream comes true. You can bet so many winners thought they knew how their lives would be after guessing the right numbers, but a lot of them didn't do much with their big win. Others, though, achieved everything they wanted to do. But what about the biggest winners ever? These Powerball players hit some of the biggest jackpots in lottery history, but what did they do with the money, and where are they now? We have all the inside secrets for you. Some of these stories are going to blow your mind. Let's get into it. Manuel Franco Manuel Franco was 24 years old and working at Target in 2019. At the time, he was trying to get his bank balance up to just $1,000. We've all been there. But he had no idea his luck was about to change. On his way home from work, he stopped at a Speedway gas station and bought $10 worth of Powerball tickets. He had no idea one of them was about to win him an insane amount of cash. When he checked the tickets a week later, he was happy to see that one of them had won $4. So you can only guess how happy he was when he saw he was holding a jackpot winning ticket. And it wasn't just any jackpot either. It was one of the biggest ever at a whopping $768 million. Even more incredibly, Manuel was the only winner. He went to collect his prize a few weeks later because he first took the time to hire a team of lawyers and financial advisors. He chose the lump sum option, and after taxes, he went home with an unbelievable $326 million in his bank account. That's so much cash, I don't even know how you'd spend it all. The first thing Manuel did wasn't going on a spending spree, though. He first quit his job. Wouldn't we all do that? Then, he did something pretty unusual. He went back to Target and bought a stack of gift cards, which he loaded with $200. He tried to hand them out to customers, but unfortunately, most people thought it was some kind of scam and refused to take them. One person who did take one chose to give it to someone else she thought needed it more. Since then, we haven't heard much about Manuel. However, he's issued a statement through his lawyer that scammers are using his name. This is a pretty common scam, actually. The thieves contact people, saying they're a lottery winner who's generously giving away money. All you have to do is send them a little money to cover the wire transfer fee. Obviously, it's all a lie. And they disappear after their victims send the wire transfer fee. Anyone who has received a message like this is advised to inform the FBI. So, we don't know what Manuel is doing with his lottery winnings, but he does still have a fancy lawyer, so you can bet he's spending it wisely. If you hit a huge Powerball jackpot, what would you spend your money on? Tell us in the comments, and stick with us for more amazing stories. Robert Bailey Robert Bailey was a retired government worker living in Harlem when he finally struck gold. He'd been playing the lottery for 25 years already, using exactly the same numbers every single time since he started. Most people would have given up long before, but it's a good thing Robert stuck to the plan. It sure paid off in the end when he became the biggest Powerball jackpot winner in New York State at the time of his win, $687.8 million. He had to share the jackpot with another winner but he still went home with a huge chunk of cash. After choosing the lump sum and paying his winner's tax, he still got $125 million. But is he still rich? He definitely hired a team before he picked up his prize, but we haven't heard anything about him since then. That might be a good thing, though. Normally, when jackpot winners blow all their cash and end up broke, they're guaranteed to pop up in the news eventually. So, because Robert hasn't been in the news, you can bet he still has a good amount of cash in his account. Maureen Smith and David Kaltschmidt Maureen Smith and David Kaltschmidt are a couple originally from Long Island, New York. They didn't have a bad life before winning the lottery. They moved to the coast of Florida in 1991, 10 years after they got married. They lived happily with their two children, with Maureen working as an Avon lady and David working as a mechanical engineer. Their kids were already adults when the couple finally hit the jackpot. If you're going to win the lottery, that draw was the right moment. Maureen and David were one of the three couples who struck gold with the infamous 1.6 billion Powerball jackpot. Even after splitting the jackpot three ways, losing money by choosing to take the lump sum option, and paying taxes, the amount of cash Maureen and David took home was higher than most jackpot totals. Their bank account now showed a whopping total of $328 million. The family must have been so glad Maureen played the lottery all the time. She won with the same number she'd been playing for years. 
They didn't thank her straight away, though. In fact, David was so sure he hadn't won that he thought Maureen was playing a prank on him when he saw all the numbers on her ticket match the draw. Luckily, he was wrong. Just imagine what you could do with all that cash. Well, as it turns out, David and Maureen didn't do that much. Normally, lottery winners immediately buy a huge mansion and a collection of luxury cars, but not David and Maureen. In fact, they're still living in the same $300,000 house as before. They did upgrade their car. David sold his SUV and bought a GMC Yukon Denali, and Maureen got her own Tesla. But that's about it. They're living exactly the same way they did before. Except David retired from his engineering job. Maureen still goes shopping at the nearby store where she bought her winning ticket, and she talks to all the same people she did before she became rich. They sometimes give away some of their cash to good causes. But be warned, if you see them on social media or you get an email from them trying to give you money, it's a scam. Can you hit subscribe before another lottery winner blows all their cash? You have three seconds. Three, two, one. Lorraine West Lorraine West from Iowa didn't grow up super poor, but she wasn't wealthy either. Even as a child, she worked in the cornfields to earn extra money for her family, plus some spending money for herself. As an adult, she kept working hard, but this time, it was because she was a single mom to three daughters. But even with all that responsibility, she was doing all right. In fact, she just bought her very first house. That's a pretty big achievement. Her sister was busy helping her move into her new home when they stopped at a local store to pick up a coffee and a pizza to help keep their energy up for the busy day. While they were there, Lorraine picked up a lottery ticket for the draw that was happening the next day. She did that every week when she had enough spare cash. Then, she spent the rest of the day moving in with her sister. She totally forgot she had even bought a ticket. Well, until the next day when Lorraine's friend called her to tell her somebody hit the jackpot. That was no small win either. The Powerball jackpot was at a whopping 687 million. Lorraine obviously wanted to check if her ticket was the winner. But when she went to check her numbers, she realized she couldn't find her ticket. She thought she'd put it in her purse, but it wasn't there. She called her sister, terrified that she'd lost her ticket in the chaos of her moving. Luckily, her sister started searching for the lost ticket. Lorraine had dropped the ticket in her sister's truck, and it was safe and sound. She read the numbers out over the phone so Lorraine could check if they matched. Neither of them could believe it, but she had every single one right. Lorraine later found out she was one of two winners. But even splitting the money, she still got a giant 198.1 million lump sum. She said straight away that she wanted to use her money to help people. But did she? We've all seen lottery winners say that before blowing all their cash on luxury items. So what did Lorraine choose to really do? She did exactly what she said. She was never a selfish person, and the money didn't change her one bit. She used it to get closer to her kids and grandchildren, who she loved. She even bought a family car instead of a sports car, so all her grandkids could fit in. Then she set up a charity called the Column Foundation. It provides funding to causes like poverty, hunger, and animal and child welfare. Why did she not name it after herself? Because she wanted to name it after her late grandson instead. Plus, you might even have seen her on The Ellen DeGeneres Show. She was there to donate an amazing $500,000 to the Travis Foundation, which helps wounded veterans and their families. She's clearly incredibly giving, but handing all that money to charities hasn't hurt her. She's still living exactly the way she wanted to live with enough cash that she never needs to worry again. I guess some people would rather help others than live a lavish lifestyle. Mavis Wanchik Before winning the lottery, Mavis Wanchik had been working in patient care at a medical center in Massachusetts for an incredible 32 years. She didn't hate her job at all, but we all know that's a pretty tough thing to do every day for so long. Every day, she dreamed that she might be able to retire early. She just didn't have the money to do it. But she did sometimes play the Powerball lottery as part of her early retirement dream. She would buy quick pick tickets sometimes, but the numbers she chose that won the jackpot were significant dates related to her loved ones. I'll bet she loved those people even more when she won her unbelievable $758.7 million jackpot. Imagine seeing numbers like that, knowing they belong to you. Mavis was also the only winner of that insanely huge jackpot. The second Mavis found out she'd won, she went to collect her prize. Of course, she chose the lump sum, 
and after taxes, she'd won $336 million. The first thing she did was to resign from her job, taking an early retirement like she'd always dreamed of. She then contacted reporters and spread the story of her incredible win far and wide. That was her one big mistake. There are loads of ways that winning so much cash can go wrong. Mavis didn't blow her prize and end up broke, but all the attention after her big press conference turned her life into a misery. People were turning up at her door constantly, either to ask her questions for the news or worse. Loads of people were hoping to get a piece of her new wealth. It got so bad that the police had to sit outside her house to guard her. There's no news on if this is still happening or not. Hopefully, she's moved now and has managed to get a little more privacy. On the bright side, she still seems to have plenty of cash. John and Lisa Robinson John and Lisa Robinson were a pretty normal couple from Tennessee. John was in the Air Force before becoming an engineer, and Lisa worked as a dermatologist. Their daughter was already an adult when they hit the jackpot. At the time, John was having to travel a lot for work, which he and Lisa really hated. All they wanted was to be closer as a family, but that's difficult when you don't have much money. One day, John was leaving work when he got a call from Lisa. She told him that she'd heard the Powerball jackpot was a mind-blowing $1.6 She told John it would be a good idea to pick up a few lottery tickets on his way home. John agreed and bought tickets with his loved one's birthdays and his numbers. Good call. Those dates won the couple an astounding amount of cash, along with two other lucky winners. Even after splitting the jackpot with the other winners and paying taxes, the Robinsons went home with $245.8 million but they seemed like they really didn't know what to do with it. Except for paying off their daughter's student loans, they kept working at their jobs and stayed in the same house. That lasted a while until they started getting people showing up at their door. Their lawyer had advised them to announce their win to the media, which was definitely the wrong decision. The couple had always been private, and they really hated everyone showing up asking for their money. They have since parted ways with that lawyer, for obvious reasons. They decided they were going to move after all, to try to win back their privacy. They bought a spectacular house with a private lake and a cinema worth $6.2 million. But that's only a small part of their money. And we don't know much more than that, which must mean they've got their privacy back and they're still rich. Like this video? Then check out this one too.